Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I wanted to show you how do you change your custom settings in Design Space so that you are now able to change the blade type, whether you're using the regular blade or a deep cut blade, and also the number of times uh, that you want the blade to cut for you. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm logged into Design Space. And I'm going to come over here to where my little name is, and I'm going to click that down arrow. When you do that, you go into Manage Custom Materials. But before you click on that, make sure you have your Cricut Explore machine turned on um, so that it knows uh, which machine it's dealing with. And also, um, it will uh, not let you change the custom settings unless it's talking to your Cricut. So I'm going to go into Manage Custom Settings, and mine is going to come up with a select Cricut device because I have more than one Cricut machine. Okay, so I'm going to go into the one that I have connected, and it'll take just a second. And yes, I can use more than one Cricut machine at a time. I would just open up a new tab in my browser and bring up Design Space again and log in and I would have I could run two at a time or three or however many I want to run you just have to have an open tab it does take a second for this to happen and also with my recording software it kind of slows it down a little bit alright so now I have all the custom settings that are already preloaded in design space okay now you will notice that there are the dial presets where these are the ones that are on your smart um, your smart dial, okay, the silver dial, and then these are the ones that are around the sides, okay, and then it already is set at a certain cut pressure, and there are no multi cuts turned on for any of those, and it is a regular blade, all right. Then you have custom materials, all right. So you look down here where custom materials is located, and we can scroll down to custom materials. And now you'll see various items that are put on here. So there's um, distressed foam, there's plush foam, these are the Cricut ones, then there's regular craft foam, so make sure you're picking the right one. But you'll, you can go through here and look at all the different um, settings that they have. And it's already got a certain cut pressure that Cricut has preloaded for us. And then how many times it's going to multi-cut if that particular type needs a multi-cut. And it also has a blade type now. So if you need the deep cut blade, it will tell you this is two times using a deep cut blade. Now, I'm going to scroll down because I am trying to find, um, I think it's woven, okay, fabric tight woven burlap with backing okay so let's say I want to change this right now it is preset in the under custom materials that it is at a cut pressure of 344 which is I think the highest you can go maybe a little bit more but um, and it is set to multi cut three times using a regular blade okay when I tried to do my die cuts with a view burlap paperback cardstock that I had was trying to work with, the regular blade did not cut through going at three times. What I needed to do was change it to using a deep cut blade. And how do I do that so I can tell my machine that I'm now going to use a deep cut blade? Over here in this right column, you'll see a little checkbox. And in, in when you hover over it, it says edit. You want to click on that edit. Okay. Now it will allow you to change how many times it's going to cut. So you'd be able to pick however many how many passes you want it to cut. I'm going to leave it on three, but I want to change it to my deep cut blade. Okay. So I'm going to change it from the regular blade to my deep cut blade. All right. And then once I do that, then I need to I need to save this and let it know that I'm finished making any changes to my uh, custom material setting and then I'm going to click done. Okay, and then it's going to come up here and ask me, do you want to save your changes? Yes, I would like to save them. Okay, 
So now when we look at the custom material setting, we're going to have to go back in. It's going to take a second. Now when we go back in and we go back and find that custom material setting, it has now saved it to my Design Space account that it's set for me at the new setting that I put it on. Sorry, it's going to take just a second for it to pull up again. Uh, but this way you can change this so if you're having trouble with any particular material and you find that your Cricut machine, they're all slightly different sometimes, and yours works better if you have if you have it at a different pressure or you have it at a different um, blade time, how many passes it makes. Okay, so now you'll see it says multi cut three times, and I'm using a deep cut blade. That's what I changed it to to the deep cut blade. Now I forgot to mention here when you go into Design Space and you want to change a custom setting you can also adjust the cut pressure and when you click the edit button you'll see the scroll bar down here and you'll see that this one is set at 344 alright I can actually use these plus and minus buttons and I can lower that see how it's changing the number here from 344 to 338 I can do that or I can increase my cut pressure so I'm going to put it back at 344 because that's what I had it set up before and I'm going to click done and now I'm finished okay so because I did it didn't actually change anything I just put it back to where it was so now when I go in to cut any any woven tightly woven burlap fabric mine is now ready to um, use a deep cut blade and it's ready for it to make three cuts on that paper because I know that that was the best setting because when I played around with it that's what it worked best at. So that's how that works. So I hope you found that useful. You can do this for any of the any of the settings and kind of make it your own so that it works the best with your Cricut Explore machine. Thanks a lot. You can um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on how to use Cricut Explore. Bye.